Right, let's bring in our good friend, Dr. Joe Congini from Akron Children's Hospital Sports Medicine Center. Good morning, Joe. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm trying to stay warm, right? <laughs> I was just going to say, it is cold <laughs> out there, my friend. Where do you want to start this morning? Hey, you know the joint that everybody's talking about after the Super Bowl and with the Kansas City Chiefs uh, run again as a very good team. <clears throat> everybody's wondering about the toe, the big toe, the turf toe. And uh, Patrick Mahomes is going for surgery this morning uh, on his turf toe. And it did really affect him. We saw it up close because the injury really occurred originally in the Browns game. And he struggled a little bit in the Browns game. He struggled a little bit in the Bills game. And then, of course, in the Super Bowl, he wasn't moving quite the way he normally does. And so I wanted to talk a little about what turf toe is. You know, a lot of people, like a lot of things in sports medicine, anything that happens to the big toe or around the big toe, everybody always points to it and says, oh, that's a turf toe, turf toe. And much of the time it's not. There's a lot of other injuries that occur around the ball of the foot or the, tur- or the big toe. But <clears throat> turf toe does happen quite a bit in the sport of football. It's a sport that we see it in a lot. Um, it is, um, it's a tear in the capsule of ligaments that holds the joint together in the big toe, around the big toe. And uh, <clears throat> the kind of movement is exactly what uh, Patrick Mahomes did. He kind of was being rushed by the Browns, and he pirouetted real hard off of his uh, foot, and he hyperextended his big toe. And people hyperextend the toe, and they stretch or tear those ligaments in the big toe. They put a lot of pressure on that little joint and tear the ligaments. And so a very, very common thing we battle in high school and college kids all the time is a grade one or a grade two. You hear us talk in those grades where they just stretch the ligament or they get a partial tear of the ligament. <clears throat> and early on with Mahomes and playing again, we're thinking it might have been a grade two. But then again, with, with uh, these NFL players, many of them might have had previous injuries too, but he really struggled through the rest of the playoffs with his And so the things we do initially, first of all, in diagnosing it, there's a special kind of X-ray that you can do without spending a whole lot of money where you hyperextend the big toe and compare it to the other side to see how loose it is with a tear in the ligament. But you know the way it is nowadays. A lot of people go right to an MRI to see if there's a tear in that ligament. And certainly in the NFL situation, they go to the MRI. And if there's a bad tear in the ligament, sometimes they need rest. So in the grade ones and twos, people tape them initially and they feel pretty good for the first game. And then they put a stiff shank or sole in the shoe so you can't bend that joint anymore. And that helps for a while. And just like the knee or the ankle with a torn ligament, they rehab it for two or three or four weeks to get the swelling out of it, to allow healing to occur. With some bad ones, they'll put somebody in a boot. Gosh, in the old days, I remember they would put people in a cast or a boot to try to get the ligament to heal. And uh, if it's not healing with a complete three, uh, grade three, then we talk about surgery. And one of the studies I looked at last night, only about 2% of all turf toe injuries require surgery. But I'll bet you one thing for sure, Ray, it's a lot higher than 2% in the NFL. Do you think the Kansas City Chiefs want to go to September 1st next year and see if uh, if he is still uh, limping around on the foot, if Patrick Mahomes is struggling or has a problem? They don't want to wait until next year in something like the NFL. So the point is fix it now, get it fixed tight, and then you don't have to worry about it. So the NFL percentage is a lot higher. In the kids I work with, only about 2% require surgery. But about 45% of American football players have had turf toe before. Uh, About 80% of the time it does happen on turf. And, uh, and, And it's really an odd kind of thing is that it's gone through a period of time where in the 70s, when we had the real hard initial first kind of turf, we saw turf toe all the time. And then in the 90s, as they improved and the turfs were a little bit softer, had more give to them, turf toe went down. And then in the 2000s, now athletes wear the shoes with the least support they can, so they get as much speed as they can. They do not have much support in the football shoe anymore. And now there's been an increase in turf toe in the 2000s. So 
One final point on surgery, about 16 weeks for recovery, so about four weeks to recover is the average in a study I looked at last night. But the success rate's about 90%. So about 90% of people that have the surgery uh, Mahomes will have today do well with the surgery. They have a successful surgery, and they come back and do well. But it takes four months to recover from this surgery, right? That's why you got to get it done now. And we've seen this injury end a many a uh, career. I, you know, I think of Deion Sanders. I think of Jack Lambert, to name just a, a couple. And those are, I know those are the rare cases, but it is something to take real serious, and they're getting it done today. No, you're absolutely right because so, so many people, and especially in the Lambert days, that's the famous one, the old guy that made Cleveland Browns fans miserable was Jack Lambert, is that in those days and still today sometimes, people let it go too long to the point of where it's bad arthritis and the joint wears out and they don't do the surgery early on enough. And that, that doesn't happen as much today. With MRIs and other tests, they're not going to let that joint wear out real bad in somebody who's really good like Mahomes. But it did happen in those two players you named. So it's a painful injury. It's a common sport injury. It's coming back because they don't wear shoes with much support anymore in sports. And um, today, uh, I, I wonder the kind of pressure on the surgeon who will be doing that surgery on Pat Mahomes' foot. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, great stuff this morning, Joe. As always, you know, I appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll catch up, of course, with you again next Wednesday morning. Thanks. Stay warm, my friend. <laughs> you too. Have a good week, Ray. You too. <laughs> Dr. Joe Congeni, Akron Children's Hospital.